Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is LaDiamond and today we're going to be quickly discussing how simmers are feeling and what they're saying about the new upcoming live simulation game, Enzoi. So for those of you who don't know what Enzoi is, it is a new hyper-realistic life simulation game set for release later this year. With base game features like weather, in-depth relationship, cars, and mod support, just to name a few. As we all know, The Sims 4 has been the leading game in the life simulation category without much competition along the way, but it has also been the center of a lot of major controversy. Some simmers are seeing Enzo as a breath of fresh air and are ecstatic to have choices in the genre. Let's take a look at some of the recent Reddit posts. Ever since I saw the Enzo trailer and gameplay, I've been bored of The Sims. I've seen this a lot. It's been a comment on some of my recent videos too. It's just being able to see a new video game developer create new exciting things and knowing the lackluster that The Sims has had recently, a lot of people are feeling the same way. The open world, active jobs, and careers that don't need 450 gigabytes of CC to be beautiful sold it for me. I'm just so excited to see what's next for Enzoi. Same, it's similar to The Sims 3, but the characters are so much more attractive. I get that. Some people don't really like the clay Play-Doh look of The Sims 4, and CC does make it have like an alpha versus max's match feel. So I could see why some people are liking the graphics as more. But also remember that higher graphical demand calls for more expensive parts in your, CC, in your computer or laptop or whatever system you're playing the game on. It is Asian Sims plus open world plus Korean ideology visually equals perfect Sims replacement for me. Um, the Sims does lack in diversity, so I could see K-pop and K-drama fans being excited about this game as well. Look at this comment. People want stuff that they can relate to. Same, I'm into K-pop and Asian culture in general, so I'm looking very forward to it. I know if my Zoids are eating spicy rice cakes, I'm getting spicy rice cakes too, lol. Same, it fits my aesthetic so much. Plus, so far, the clothing looks pretty. The clothing style in the game is very beautiful, and the ability to be able to customize a lot of the pieces that are already included in game adds more variety to the game. So you're going to have outfits that you never really feel bored of, and you always can create something new. To the Never Realm said, To be honest, I always get bored quickly in The Sims. I will spend hours creating my household and my perfect house and barely play. I feel like there isn't much to do. Even social interactions with other sims seem like the relationship farming is barely interactive. So ready for a new life simulation option, and I think if it's done right, I'll be addicted to Enzoi for a while. I do want to take a second to talk about this comment, saying I'm playing sims on and off, but the for rent pack, although exciting, I can't help but feel a bit annoyed, as I already have the city living expansion, and I feel that it could have been included. I feel like a lot of summers felt that way. So I just went back to The Sims 3 complete and I purchased on sale a few years ago and found that, hey, I can run a resort. Like you were getting more for the dollars that you were paying. Anyway, it's always good to wait for a sale for The Sims DLCs. They work out the bugs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I can save money. I'd rather just buy a game instead of a DLC for now. Next year will be exciting. I can't wait for more simulation games. I probably also hold off as well for reviews and bugs to be worked out. So no, I'm not bored of The Sims, but I'm waiting for more games in this genre. I feel like this one says a lot. Like Enzoi does seem very exciting, I will agree. But just like any game, bugs and kinks have to be worked out. But I feel like we've seen more updates recently in The Sims than ever before. We also are getting expansion packs thrown at us at a faster rate. And it seems as if they're milking us for our dollars rather than fixing the game. I feel like The Sims 4 has a lot to do to keep players interested. And to be real, a lot of people have already dished out hundreds of dollars into this game. So the first step is just fixing it. We're not asking for a lot. We just want what we paid for to work. Good news is the second playtest videos will go public starting the 17th. So if you're interested in seeing more Enzoi gameplay, you can check out more videos that we'll be releasing this weekend.